Hi, this is Allie with The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I want to talk to you about um, something that I think definitely needs to be revisited in the kind of spiritual self-development, self-help, love world. Um, and that is how to deal with negative or toxic or unconscious people. Okay, so in the old kind of paradigm, if you will, um, the general advice for dealing with people that we found to be like offensive or not awake or not conscious or hurtful or harmful um, was a few things. It would be like, you know, shield yourself, shield your energy, uh, build an energy force field around you to try and block out their energy. Um, number two, assume that it has nothing to do with you. It's just their problem, their crap that they're spewing and it has nothing to do with your reality, so just pretend like it's not happening. Um, or kind of like a combination of those two things. Where, or, or, you know, ask yourself what is it in them that is in you that you're trying to, you know, that you're finding offensive within yourself that they are reflecting back to you. And I think that those kind of techniques got us this far and I think that they were great for a time but now I think that we can kind of take it a step further and um, actually find a much deeper level of freedom and um, joy and even understanding for ourselves and understanding for other people with regards to ne dealing with people who are you know offensive to you in some way and, and I know that um, the other thing that we kind of feel the need to do is to label them as toxic or label them as unconscious or label them as whatever and write them off. And essentially that's why I wanted to make this video because I think that um, there's something much deeper that we can all find here when we're dealing with people that, like I said, like make us feel bad about ourselves, that make us feel like they're judging us or they're spewing something onto us that we don't want. And I think that there there is a, a gift in that. And I think that there's a blessing inside of that. And if we are to write it off or to shield ourselves from it or, you know, say it has nothing to do with us, then we we skip out on getting that gift. We skip out on getting whatever it is that they have to offer us. And the thing is, it's just going to keep happening. There's always going to be someone in your reality that doesn't think the way that you think, that doesn't act the way that you act, that doesn't behave the way that you behave, and that is going to provoke this feeling of being offended, this feeling of being, you know, toxic on. And so I want to um, just offer a, an alternative way to react, an alternative way to think about it, just because I think that, like I said, I do believe that absolutely everything on the in this life hides or, you know, a like shows a blessing for us. And I don't think that anything is meant to be just written off or s separated out from us. I think that we are to find the blessing in everything. I think that we can find the blessing in everything. So that's what I want to talk about today. So the first thing that I recommend that you do when you are coming up against someone who is someone that you would normally label like toxic or negative or um, unconscious or just someone that's irking you, um, the first thing to do is of course just stop, breathe for a second and send yourself some love and compassion, right? Because generally when we get in a situation when there's someone that's offending us, we get our backs up and we feel attacked and we start to feel like we got to start to defend ourselves or right project onto them how they're wrong and we're right and this whole big kind of lack and attack um, reaction starts to happen so if you can just pause for a second and send yourself love and compassion immediately you're going to diffuse the situation at least a little bit right so just pause take a breath you're okay you can send yourself love and compassion you can send yourself that feeling that you are not getting from this other person that you want to be getting um, sending yourself love and compassion. The second thing to know is um, just like that saying no one can make you feel inferior without your permission, it is the same thing with absolutely every other feeling. No one can make you feel negative without your permission. No one can make you feel toxic without your permission. No one can make you feel like you're dealing with 
something you don't want to be dealing with unless you agree. Okay, so this is the thing that we need to understand about toxic people or toxic situations or whatever, is that bottom line, if you're feeling crappy being there, part of the reason is because you have agreed to participate in the energy. And this is where, you know, the first thing that I want to recommend is that you start taking responsibility for your own energy. You don't have to participate. Even if someone comes up to you and says that you are the worst piece of crap they've ever seen and they hate you and they think everything you've ever done is just gross and you're worthless and gross, the bottom line is that you don't have to accept any of that, right? This is the truth, that if, if someone can be crapping all over you with their energy and you do not have to accept any of it. You do not have to participate in any of it. If you're in this really high flying, high vibe in place, you do not have to meet them where they are in their vibration of, you know, negativity or whatever it is that they're in. You don't have to go there. You can stay where you want to stay. It's all your choice, okay? So the second thing is just to acknowledge, okay, no one can make me feel any way that I don't give them permission to make me feel. And just because they are, you know, they are in a place that I am not and I don't want to be doesn't mean that I have to go and meet them there. I don't have to match them. If I don't want to, I don't have to go there, okay? So they can be as negative as they want and I don't have to take it on. I don't have to meet them at their level, right? And, and this is kind of something that we tend to do is, and I don't know why this is, is that, you know, we can be in this really high vibrational place, this really good feeling place, and then we come up against someone who is not there, who is lower than us, and instead of us staying where we are and seeing if maybe they can come meet us up here, we automatically go down there, which is funny because it's not our natural state to be in that low vibration, and it's not easier to be down there. It's actually quite a bit harder, and it would be nicer and more fun for you and more pleasant to just stay up here. But for some reason, we all think that like as soon as someone neg a negative Nancy comes into the room, we all have to become negative Nancys, but it's like, we don't. And so that's the second thing I'd like you to consider, is just that your vibration is your responsibility, and it doesn't matter what everyone around you is doing or what the person in front of you is doing or what someone is even projecting right onto you you still have the choice to stay in your vibrational place or not, okay? Third thing I want you to do is remember the last time you were in a place like that, okay? Because here's the thing, all of us have been in places where we have been rude to people. All of us have been in places where we have projected stuff onto people that had nothing to do with them. All of us have been in places where we've been pre-offended or pre-angry or pre-whatever and someone just happened to cross the path at the wrong time and we projected it onto them, right? And the other thing is all of us have been in places where we have not been well, right? We've all been in places where so much stuff was going on in our lives and we just were not acting in a way that was in alignment with who we are right now. And so th this third thing of just you remembering a time when maybe you acted like that or if you can't remember a time when you acted like that, Maybe remember a time when you acted similar to that, right? So if someone's like coming up to you and like swearing at you on the street or something or you're like you're in You're in a public place and someone who's clearly not not well comes and you know into your reality and is Spewing all this crap onto you or whatever. Maybe you've never been in that place But you can probably remember being in a similar place. You can probably remember being somewhere like that, right? and if you can't find that. If you can't find a commonality between you and this person who, who, who is negative or whatever, um, can you think of someone that you loved who maybe was once in that place or was has been in that place recently? And can you think of the compassion you maybe had for them because you love that person and you obviously have a bias towards this person that you know versus this person that you don't know? And and so the reason that I'm asking you to find a time or a place when you can remember being in this kind of state that this person is in or uh, someone that you loved was in a state that this person is in is, number, is f for two reasons. Number one, so that you can find a little bit of compassion in your heart for where they might be. So instead of taking on their negativity, instead of taking on their attack and defending yourself, 
first thing is you're doing is you're saying, okay, I'm not going to take on your energy. I'm going to stay in my positive place. Um, I don't have to engage in this if I don't want to. And number, and then you're going to say like, okay, maybe there's something much deeper going on here with this person that I don't see. And instead of me having to be offended or me having to remove myself from the situation, I can say, you know, I'm strong enough. I don't need to take this on. And second thing, how can I, you know, reflect some compassion back to this person? How can I ref reflect some grace back to this person? And understanding that nobody is a bad person and nobody just decides to be <laughs> a mean, negative, nasty person for no reason, okay? People have been through things, people are going through things. You have no idea what happened to that person today. Like, you know, they could, that guy that cuts you off in traffic or whatever, you know, maybe he's rushing to the hospital because his wife is in labor. Maybe he's was abused by his father and now he's got all of these issues around masculinity that like this is the thing is that you have no idea where that person ha is coming from and where they're going and what their journey is so to sit there and label them as as toxic or negative or whatever you're only seeing a snapshot of where they are and even if it's someone that you work with and you work with them every day or whatever this is still just a snapshot in their life this is not them as a whole where they're going and where they've been okay so just to understand that you can probably find a place in yourself where you have acted in a similar way because you have felt a similar way or you have been through something similar or someone that you know has been through something similar and then has therefore acted a certain way. And just to know that, you know what, I don't understand what they're going through, I don't know where they're coming from, but I can relate that I've also been in a negative place before. I've also been in an unconscious place before where, you know, I didn't know the things that I know now. And that didn't make me a bad person and that didn't make me anything that made me at that point on my journey and it's the same thing for this person they're where they're at and we can't judge and we can't know where they're going and we can't know where they've come from and we don't know their journey so to label them as toxic and to write them off is essentially not, not doing you any favors and then last um, is to just acknowledge that we are not communication experts. We are not 100% going to know what someone means when they say what they say to us or what they, when they do what they do to us. And sometimes we're offended simply because we didn't understand what the person was saying and we didn't understand their inflection or we didn't understand whatever. Or like I said, they're having a bad day. And so just to say, okay, you know what, this person who's maybe, you know, this person that I work with that I deem offensive or whatever, perhaps I just totally misunderstand who they are and what they're trying to say or how they communicate. Maybe just their way of talking or their way of being is just different than me. And I don't know and I don't get it and that's okay. And like I said, so with all of this, I want you to just make space for people to be where they're at and to allow it or to first take responsibility for your own energy, your own self that you don't have to take on anything from anybody else. You can be around a million negative people and stay positive, that's your choice, okay? It do, you don't have to get dragged down. And second is to have some compassion for people and to just understand that you don't know where they are, you don't know where they're going, and how can you find this place of compassion in yourself for them and for yourself when you're feeling like someone is negative or toxic or whatever? Because that is going to open up a huge gift for you that is going to open up a huge gift for them when you react to someone who's offensive or negative or toxic in a loving way or in a compassionate way or even just in a I'm not going to come down to your level, I'm going to stay up here. You have the biggest effect on the planet that way, okay? You have the biggest positive effect on the planet that way. So you are in control of your energy. There is a positive gift within everything. And if you are to start from a place of love and compassion, you will find it. Okay, so any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below, uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe, uh, all my videos are pretty much like this, so if you like this, um, and if you have any requests for any other videos, leave them down below, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks guys.